The following is a review of the comic. A review only. And doesn't mean that I want to sleep with any of the creators involved. I mean, I'm not trying to get a job at Marvel or DC. If you think that's the case, however, you can kindly do a 180 degree and go check yourself in at the nearest psychiatric facility. Also, the quality of this video is really low. So if you're expecting higher standards, go check out someone else, like your friendly neighborhood psychology nerd. Because here, what you see is what you get. Thank you, and please enjoy this very, very unbiased review. Hey guys, StarCraft here, and today I've got another comic review. This one, I'm still continuing to be talking about it. It's Jughead the Hunger vs. Vampironica, number three. And this one, this one starts to get things a bit more rolling as we reach into the halfway point. Although I'm hoping from its point, uh, I'll just say this one gets something to position and starts bringing some other stuff that's like, why are they doing this? We won't know until the next few issues, but I'll get into that once we get started. As well, we open up this issue with uh, in Vampironica's Riverdale. I love it. Riverdale. Meaning in Veronica's Riverdale. Meaning Vampironica Veronica's Riverdale. Meaning, eh, you know what we mean. <laughs> As we are seeing a party that's going on. Mostly involving um, uh, Jinx. And, um, who I don't really know very well, but they're all just talking. They find this book of her dad. She then, you know, basically says like, my dad and his books are, are not creepy. My dad is a professor of occult studies. And that's, well, I guess that's sort of creepy. <laughs> As well, she starts looking it over and then just start doing an incantation. Everything, you know, and they're like, what is that, Dutch? All of a sudden, everything just goes crazy. Power goes out. And they all wake up to everything a complete mess. As they're trying to figure out what went on. And she's just like, come on, guys. It's just a book, right? As then um, we see... In uh, uh, Riverdale, meaning Jughead Riverdale, meaning we're not really doing that again, are we? <laughs> As we then see, well, since we, where we left off before, Vampironica Veronica shows up and is about ready to kick their ass. And, and we you know they make some a reference to Lost Boys. And they all charge in, but all of a sudden, more vampires start showing up. <laughs> and they've realized they're popping up, they're outnumbered. Yeah, it's not looking good. So Veronica decides to just fight them all, grab um, uh, Betty and Archie, and haul ass out of there. As all the others are like, yeah, they're out, they're completely out class. As we then cut back to Pops, as Vampironica Pops is starting to try to attack him, basically saying like, there's nothing that can really, and it's really a scrawny kid like you could do now that I'm a vampire. And Jughead says, you'd be surprised. And what's he transformed? Yep, Pops is generally surprised as he tosses him out. Roaring as he um, comes out but finds that Pops is gone already. Then we see Veronica land with the others. And that he's just giving her all kinds of attitude. And Veronica's just like, having anything under control was you becoming a blood bloodsucker brunch in case you haven't realized it. And so, uh, I don't see you for half a minute, and so do your John Wick. Uh, Veronica, it's quite clear you're in another unit. We'll get to that. And basically, they're asking, like, Archie's asking me a question, like, the better question is, what's with you? I mean, you're, uh, whoever the hell you are, you're not our Veronica. Ours is a werewolf, for one thing, and, well, she's a lot less cool, if I'm being honest about it. To which Veronica's just like, ha, werewolf, whatever you're talking about, Archikins. Although, I'm afraid I really can't argue that, that part about me being cool. Obviously, always full of herself. But then Betty just started, the two just start ar and arguing more and more. Until even Veronica's like, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe whatever it is uh, going on here, you're somehow not my Betty and I'm not your Veronica. After all, my Betty isn't uh, such a bitch. And they start fighting it out. And, you know, they're, they're do they are fighting. Archie doesn't say, oh no, not again. Not you know, Betty versus Veronica. But then Veronica's basically like, uh, you know, I agree. This is getting tiresome. 
And, um, but it's now in no contest at all. Uh, she basically starts to win, but then Archie's pointing a gun at her. For um, Betty then new takes out a bit of sulfur and stabs her. And all of a sudden, Jughead shows up and starts slamming her around. To which Veronica gets up and realizes, okay, yep, this clinches it, not my universe. As they uh, they start fighting it out, ready to um, and re you know, ready to tussle when Veronica sh and Betty shoots Veronica, and they basically you know decide to figure out who are you. But then we always have a talking puddle that's speaking to them. But even Archie's like talking puddle, werewolves, vampires. But I'm sorry, I'm drawing a line at talking puddles. And we find out it's Sabrina Spellman. Basically saying, if you want to save multiple worlds, you have to listen to what she's saying very carefully. Ending this third issue, and feels like it's still going at snail's pace, but I'm hoping now for the next three issues, we're done with the setup, we're done with the meetings, and they got the fight out of the way. I'm hoping that's about it, and well, the short read, short video, not much else to say. But I think it's still looking good, a lot of fun. But it's just way too breezy. And like I said, we got three more issues left. So hopefully, hopefully, this ends up doing still very good. I hope. One can only hope. I still got one more Archie book I'm going to be talking about. But until then, catch you guys all tomorrow. And, and not tomorrow. Yeah, catch you guys all next time. See ya.